So my name's George Dickerson. I uh, did my EBQ on policing and like how the public opinion has changed, how it's affected the budget cuts. I'm mainly focused on the last 20 years just because it was too much to research if I went any further. So I chose this project mainly because it's a career choice that I would love to go into. It's where I, what I plan to study in university. Um, I decided to research it because I wanted to get like see the different sides of policing as well as just the because it's a lot of paperwork, it's a lot of act, like practical work. But then I also wanted to look at the logistical side of it, so how the finances worked and how it, everything affected it, like the politics of it all. So yeah, this. Basically, I wanted to get a step forward for when I went to study at a university and when I went into it as a career. Um, I, the main way that I did the project is I established different topics that would be affected by the politics, the finances, so different like employment numbers for different areas and different like styles of policing, so there's like the different the specials, the volunteers the PCSOs and then there's the normal offices. So I looked into all the employment offices and how that's been affected. I also looked into how the budgets have changed each year with like different events. So there was like major events such as like Hillsborough that would cause massive changes in the finances of the police. So from doing this whole topic I sort of learned Time management is not one of my strengths. Uh, I had a few issues with that where I set unrealistic deadlines and wasn't able to meet them, which meant I had to change quite a lot that I'd started. Um, I also learned quite a lot about the policing itself and the other sides that you wouldn't normally see. Although I didn't plan on starting it with the budgets or the financial side, it did actually help quite a lot, uh, learning how factors that a lot of people would know in major public events have affected it. Like, so on the picture there, you see like the body cameras. I didn't like. It was very obvious it's gonna have a high impact on the cost, but I didn't realise just how much it would change, considering it was mandatory and there's like thousands that had would have had to been given out and then maintenance and stuff like that. So overall I think my dissertation was quite successful because I completed it to like a decent standard. I was happy to how much I've done and how much detail I put into it. Uh, however I wasn't as happy with like how I'd done it. So the timing that I'd used, the different deadlines and the fact that I didn't quite research like get it all finished in the time frame that I wanted but overall I think it worked uh, so the major thing that I found was other than time management I had issues with some of the research places that I used as research so there was like different websites and different newspapers I didn't realise a lot of them were a lot more biased than you'd realise and there was quite a few that were sort of against the police but not showing it at the same time and I had to be really careful with the different resources I used because some of them did show like negative views and weren't completely factual uh, I mainly, like how I dealt with this, the main thing was I just went to sources that were more reliable like and had a much higher reputation so stuff like legal documents, different like government reports and things like that. I think I only used like one or two magazine reports just because I wanted to avoid them as much as possible uh, due to like, how much bias they show. Um, yeah, is there any questions? Can I mention you first? Um, yeah, with the like rise of knife crime and London things, do you think the budget cut is affecting yeah, I wrote about that. I think it's got a major effect because it just the budgets have reduced how many offices can be around and the numbers and like decreasing like the amount of trust that's put in the police, the way that that's decreased is 
making people want to protect themselves and so a lot more people are wanting to carry a knife on them and then the fact that less people are going to see proper officers like there's still quite a lot of PCSOs that you see about but like not a lot of people view them as a way to keep them safe. I've got about three questions so oh, the first one is on body cams. Yeah. Do you think they're a good idea? I do because I think there's so many cases where police like a, like something could be taken the wrong way, or a, a, like a claim could be put in from either an he like it could go either way. Like an officer could say something happened and it didn't, or someone could say an officer did something and it didn't. Mm -hmm. And it's just the extra evidence. Like it costs probably costs quite a lot, but it, the sort of support that it gives is worth it. Okay. Second one. Um, so. Obviously, you see on like you see on like the news and stuff about all the budget cuts in the police yeah. and all that. And it all focuses on like the police to home and like down south. How do you think it's gonna affect Cumbria? I I think it's gonna have a less of an effect on Cumbria. Mm -hmm. I think it's affecting it everywhere because budget cuts means less officers, mm -hmm. less officers like realistically it'd be a slight rise in crime. But I think up here we don't have as big an issue with like knife crime and stuff like that. That's more down south. Like it happens here, but it's not as big an issue. So I think they have less an issue up here because, like, the presence isn't as much needed as it is where the crime's more prominent. Do you think as well a lot of the police budget cuts and the lack of uniformed officers could be managed if they prioritise different things? Like I know for a fact that there's a lot of police down Botchergate, like on a night out. And they're not there for fights now, they're there to double check IDs for underage drinkers. You not know, think that if they budgeted their time and like prioritised other things like catching speeders or not speeders but like dangerous drivers yeah. or like drug dealers or think like knife crime and stuff like that, you not know, do you think that would help? Or do you think that Yeah, I do think that there is a big issue with like where they prioritise the people and who like what sort of crimes they would put first. I think it's all, like, it does need changing and like they do prioritise their time and like sort the wrong places at some times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, with people's careers, do you think that this budget cut will have a major effect on like, how many people actually do go on the police from leaving universities and colleges? Yeah, well, um, because not only the budget cuts, they're also changing how to get into the police. So they're changing it to three separate choices. There's the pre-join degree, which is when you go to uni. They're doing a degree apprenticeship. And then there's also the one where if you've already got a degree, you can go and do two years at a university. So that's going to like massively decrease the amount of people that can join. I, mean, I know they're having a, there's a major like, recruitment drive at the minute just before that all changes next year. But I think the budget's change gonna change quite a lot with how many people will join. Well, thank you very much.